Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I was invited to talk today about using open data to help feed a world population of over 9 billion people by mid-century. I'm going to give you really a 30,000-foot really quick survey of the challenges that are facing us in, in food and agriculture. Uh, and then just mention the Sustainable Development Goals, an incredible milestone that uh, has been put in place for uh, goals for us to reach over the next 15 years. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to do a very short but deep dive into open data for agriculture and, and nutrition. Uh, agriculture is a really a critical component of our lives. There's been a lot of emphasis in the talks this morning about cities, uh, but agriculture is one of the interdependencies that cities have with rural areas. Um, agriculture, when I talk about it, means working lands, uh, farmlands, rangelands, uh, managed forest lands. They're the source of the food, fiber, which means uh, wool for clothing, uh, wood for shelter, as well as food, uh, fuel and, and energy and, and clean water. Every day around the world, farmers work to ensure that the food is there for those of us in the urban areas to eat. And as the United Nations projects the world population is going to increase to 9.3 billion people by the year 2050, Global demand for food, feed, and fiber is predicted to nearly double. So the challenge for us is how to provide all of those services that are being demanded of agriculture and to do it in a way that is going to be sustainable into the generations to come. Open data, particularly open data relevant to agriculture and nutrition, is, we believe, a very powerful tool for long-term sustainable development improving the economic opportunities for farmers around the world, and also contributing to the health of all of us consumers, as well as also sustaining the environment. A rich data infrastructure for agriculture and nutrition is emerging. Data collection tools from sensors to satellites cover multiple parts of the global food chain, from production through the value chain all the way to the consumer. And making open data work for agriculture and nutrition requires a shared agenda to increase the supply, the quality, the accessibility, and the interoperability of data alongside action to build capacity for the use of data by all of the stakeholders. Data can drive better decision making, enabling governments, civil society, as well as the private sector to better target policy interventions and programs to improve their service delivery, spur innovation, strengthen accountability, and create whole new kinds of value as well as growth. The amount of data being generated in all areas of society continues to increase along with our ability to share it, use it, and harness it for a greater good. Increased availability and more effective use of data has the potential to be a vital resource for long-term sustainable development and a powerful driver for realizing and tracking the progress towards the sustainable development goals. These sustainable development goals, a framework for the next global development agenda led by the United Nations, were just adopted by the members of the United Nations in late September. And they've highlighted ending hunger, achieving food security and improved nutrition, and promoting sustainable agriculture as global priorities for all of us for the next 15 years. Open agriculture and nutrition data are critical to achieving Sustainable Development Goal 2, which is the Ending Hunger Goal. Open access to research and scholarly publications are vital resources for food security. Increasing the release and use of open data at the institutional, national, and international levels can benefit innovation in agriculture and nutrition, helping people to grow more nutritious food from small shareholders in developing countries to large commercial farming operations. Major funding bodies of agri-food and nutrition research are making open access mandatory, requiring that scientific results and the underlying data produced through their funding to be made publicly available. 
And this has been a major priority for President Obama in the United States, and he's directed all of the science agencies to make openness our default setting. Globally, there's a growing political will to address the sustainability of agriculture and thereby to improve the nutritional status of people through open data and open access within the different international policy, research, development communities. And also encouraging the private sector to place pre-competitive research data in the public domain. And that then brings us to a new organization, GODAN, the Global Open Data for Agriculture and Nutrition Partnership. This initiative was launched here in the UK two years ago during your presidency of the, the G7 countries. And it's an initiative that seeks to support global efforts to make data relevant to agriculture and nutrition available, accessible, and usable worldwide. GODAN's the first global open data initiative spanning public and private entities and includes donor countries, international organizations, and businesses. The GODAN initiative is voluntary, bringing together people around the world around a shared purpose. It was launched, as I said, two years ago, and it's rapidly growing. Uh, from the time that I, my remarks were put together to today, uh, we've uh, increased from 150 to over 160 members, and the number of partners continues to grow. They have all signed on to a statement of purpose. The initiative focuses on high-level policy and institutional support for open data in both the public and the private sectors. GODAN encourages collaboration and cooperation among existing agriculture and open data activities without duplication and seeks to bring together all stakeholders to solve some long-standing global problems. GODAN initiative welcomes everyone uh, who signs on to the statement of purpose. And I'd like to encourage all of you here today to think about your organization becoming a member of the GODAN partnership. Earlier this year, the third international open data conference was hosted in Canada. And I had the pleasure of announcing the release of a joint GODAN Open Data Institute publication. It's called, How Can We Improve Agriculture, Food, and Nutrition with Open Data? And contains case studies, about a dozen case studies, of how open data solutions are already providing benefits to small shareholder farmers in developing countries, as well as to governments. And some of the examples are from the United States, uh, the use of open data to help inform the public discussion of how to deal with the drought in seven western states. A second example is from the government of Mexico that provided open access to some of their farm program data. And by doing that, uh, analysis identified that uh, the funding was not going to those small shareholder farmers who were the targets of the program. So it enabled the program to be redesigned to actually benefit the people that it was designed to benefit. Uh, so there are a lot of examples like that in this report. I'd like to commend uh, the Open Data Institute for the publication of the discussion paper. Uh, it has generated a lot of more interest and enthusiasm, helped to increase the membership. And just last month, uh, my boss, the Secretary of Agriculture, Mr. Tom Vilsack, announced that the 2016 GODAN Summit is going to be held in September, uh, prior to the 71st United Nations General Assembly meeting. And it will be a multi-continent event that will also allow for virtual participation. In the lead up to the 2016 GODAN Summit, there will be a series of challenges launched these challenges will help summit planners identify where openly available agriculture and nutrition data does not meet the needs of decision makers as well as the other users. And challenges will also solicit ideas about how these data gaps can be spanned. By opening existing data to the public, making existing open data more usable, or through the creation and opening up of new data sets. 
The U.S. government uh, initiative in this area is being led by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and we are very excited about the planning for this uh, 2016 Godan Summit. To learn more about the summit, please visit the website, uh, www.godan.info, and uh, you will find there all kinds of information about the partnership, its statement of purpose, as well as the plans for the summit. So in closing, uh, we believe that open data for agriculture and nutrition is going to have enormous payoffs. Uh, it's going to help us in striving to achieve the no hunger by 2015 and the sustainable development goals. And it's also going to help to provide long-term food security for all of us. Thank you.